Laura Wilkerson joins us now with her reaction to the verdict. As you know, we were just introducing her. She lost her son, Joshua. He was 18 years old at the hands of an illegal immigrant who is behind bars now. Laura, what was your reaction yesterday? I'm sure you were thinking about the Steinley family. Yes, my prayers go out to them. This is such a hard time for them. Uh, I was just sickened by the verdict. It just seems like such a travesty and such a mockery of the justice system. I, I believe that the jury should have heard that he, you know, had seven felonies and then he had been deported five times. Those are rights that are given to American citizens, and then they shouldn't apply to people who are in this country illegally. And I'm devastated for them. You think you got justice because you were in Texas? Pardon? Did you think you got uh, uh, justice because you were in Texas and not in San Francisco? Well, I'm sure that it helped to be in Texas. Um, you know, Kate Stanley would be alive today had they honored the detainer that immigration put on him. Um, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, had Nancy Pelosi tell me that all of her illegals in her area were law-abiding citizens, which is a flat lie. You know, they're not citizens to begin with, let alone law-abiding. Sure. Of course, that's with the sanctuary cities. But then again, he should not have been in this country at all. But during the last administration in particular, we saw a relaxation of a lot of the border protections. That's exactly right. He shouldn't have been here. And so what's he going to get now? Time served and then he'll get deported. Wow. I don't think that's deterred him the first five times. Mm -hmm. He'll be right back. Yeah, it's ridiculous. We've, yeah. He knows you know, how to I'm do so it. I'm so tired of, exactly. It doesn't seem to uh, be too hard for him to do it five times. It just amazes me. You know, I'm kind of sick of hearing about the wall's going to be built and we're, you know, we're going to stop the funding for sanctuary cities. No, we've sent him a letter for stopping the funding. Do it today. How many more American citizens have to die? You know, and there will be some today, whether you hear about them or not. It's absurd, and my heart is just broken for our country and for the Steinley family. So your son dies brutally at the hands of an illegal immigrant. Uh, what is it like for a family like, to go through the trial for a family member? And this, what do the Steinleys go through? That trial is devastating to sit through because you hear, you know, um, so many things that you didn't know. It's basically their case until you sit there and listen to it. You know, I, I never heard the word torture and stuff before I sat through trial. It absolutely takes everything you've got to do it. And then when you go home, you're absolutely, it was the loneliest time in our family's life. And that was with our killer convicted. I can't imagine what she feels like today. It's like someone just punched them again in the stomach and, mm -hmm. and it's our government and our in our judicial system that did it it's um I, I can't imagine laura what do you make of uh right after the verdict was read at the courtroom in san francisco the uh public defender uh matt gonzalez who acted as this man's uh, defense attorney came out and took a shot at the president of the united states yeah, I think that was absurd. I swear I wanted to, to hit him, actually. Um, it, you know, it, it was absurd, and I think that's his 10 minutes of fame. Why didn't he just have the dignity to come out and say, you know what, nobody wins today. Everybody loses. This guy's a, a you know, a killer, um, and the Kate Steinle family will forever be changed because they've lost their daughter. Uh, you know, decency at best, but to make it political just means he needed 10 minutes of fame. I, I don't have... My stomach's is sick about him. Laura, yeah. I know you were with the president a lot on the campaign trail, and a lot of other angel moms were. Tell us what happened to your son, for the folks at home that don't know, and what happened to his killer. Um, Joshua was giving a kid a ride home from school, and the kid intended to murder him, we believe, for his truck to sell or scrap for money. And what he did was he beat Josh in the head with a closet rod um, until it broke in four pieces. He kicked him so hard in the stomach that his uh, spleen was sliced into. It was painful. It was torture for the medical examiner. He strangled him, let him go, strangled him over and over again until he watched him die. The kid said this from the stand. He watched him die, and then he took him and put him in Joshua's truck, drove around and bought gas, laid him in a field, and set him on fire. He did get life sentence in uh, Texas. That means 30 years before he's up for parole. It just was the seventh year, so he's got 23 years to go before he's up for parole. And, and what about the deportation? You know, I, I hope mm -hmm. to be alive and standing there to make sure he's deported. But we have some families that are coming up here shortly. You know, their, their kids' killers are getting out. And, you know, for them, it's devastating to know that they're going to get out and come right back in. How do it's you, time to stop it. How do you live your life? How do you go on after something like this happens to your child? 
God. Uh, Jesus is the only way I've been able to make it. And um, I, I don't know how people that don't have Jesus in their life get through it. I heard your yeah. thing about Kate Steinle's father saying that it was his faith. And I'll tell you what, I just could not have survived without him. And, um, you know, nothing's bringing Joshua back, but it's taken seven years right. to, to, you know, to process it and get your head around it. And, um, but, yeah, there's no other way. I mean, Jesus carried me through the whole thing. It is such a terrible story. Um, Laura, you know that Kate's law did pass the U.S. House. They're just waiting for them to act on it in the U.S. Senate. And then, obviously, yes. the President of the United States would sign it. But for any, uh, any senators watching right now, Democrats, Republicans, what's your message? Why should they pass Kate's law? Because, I mean, think about if it happened to your kid. I mean, if it happened to your kid, you can, you know, tear up. But the next five minutes, you can change the channel of that grief and go on about your day. You know, this is something that lives with us forever and ever and ever. Our life is not the same on this earth. Um, it, it's just absolutely, they don't understand the pain. They want to look away and not face it. It was an accident. Who cares? This is the violent felon who'd been deported, you know, accident or not. I, I don't think that I'm going to leave here today and, oh, I found a gun on her bench and just took a practice shot and killed somebody yeah. and get off with it. I mean, the it's absurd. The law definitely let them down. Yeah, it was preventable. Yeah, it is. All right. Laura Wilkerson, thank you very much for retelling your story and your reaction this morning. God bless you, Laura.